Hi there guys, and today I'm going to be showing you... Sorry, I'm trying to turn those on. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an inverted fish tail. So, to make the inverted fish tail, you're going to need some rubber bands. You can use the... you're going to need the loom. Pencils are a little, well, ha harder. You can use literally anything, but you're only going to need two pegs if you're using the little so don't worry about it. And this, that's, this is the inverted fish too. Looks really nice. So, if I don't stretch it, it looks good. If I stretch it, it's kind of good too. So, let me get my rubber bones, my two colors. Inverted fish tail. You're gonna need some stuff. So you're gonna wanna get I'm trying to set my camera up, but I don't want it to fall back it's like that. Fall forward like that. Because like it's kind of yeah a rubbish tablet case, but oh okay, I'll do it on my lap. So grab the old loom. First color band, and green. Choose what two pegs you want. Your loom must be facing that way. So if you have any arrows on your loom, it doesn't matter what loom you use. You can use this loom, you can use the ones with the connections. Your loom just has to be however it could be all in one row. So there are three in one row. It still works. So choose which way. Your arrows must be pointing so it's that way. So grab your first color, put it on the peg, peg like that, twist it like you would to start a fish tail off. Grab your next color and just put it over, so push this band down. Now this color, put it on, just normally, no twists, or anything, so you should still see the first bottom band. And then you're going to grab your next color, mine's green, and just put it on over the top of it, so like this. There we go. And pull up the clothes. My hook. I need a hook. Hold on, guys. I forgot about that. So you are going to need a hook. Sorry, guys, but you're going to need a hook. Very sorry, but if you haven't got your hook, so you're always going to need a hook because if you use fingers, it's a little harder because you're going to have to loop the real the middle of that. So, yeah. Now, if I thought you would start fish tail off, you're going to grab this the bottom band. Loop it over into the middle and let it out. Grab it. Loop it up and over 
so you should have that band in the middle as like it should look like a cap band. Now we're gonna start with the inverting fish tail part now. So push them down. Grab your next color. Whatever color it is. You can use all kinds of colors. You can use the same colors in here if you want. So put it on. Now there's a middle green band there. Push in below this top band. So this band, put it on, leave it up at the top so it's not near the other ones. Like that. Now go through it. Grab the middle, push the middle band back. Grab the bottom band. And loop it up and over. Okay, it's a little hard face in the way. Okay, so push back, grab in, push back, bottom, go in, push back, grab the bottom back. Okay, so go in, push the middle band back, grab the bottom band. Okay? That makes sense. So do it one more time, show you guys. Okay, there's a bit of a break sound, so... Okay, now push them bands down. You can put your hook down, but... So put it on like you did with the last color band. Just loop it over so that there's no twists in it. Push through the middle and top, push the middle back, grab the bottom. So you're always doing that rule the whole way through until it fits your wrist. Okay, so you do that and I'll do mine. See you in a minute. So I finished doing my bracelet and um, now I'm gonna show you guys how to finish it so that's what it should look like once you're done yeah so it will be curling up but that's fine it's alright cause it'll look like this when it's done so grab an S clip or C clip. I prefer to use S clips. They're a little more secure. Okay. Now, on on these two pegs there, you're gonna grab them and put them onto one side and yank it off. And yank it off like that. Grab the other side of the loom. Hold it. To pull off. Hold it. Put them two on your finger and use the same peg for it. Just slip on like that and it should look like that. At the end, it's a bit rubbish at the end, but still, it's fine. And these two, stretch. Be careful, they don't break. There you go. And then there you have it your beautiful inverted fishtail bracelet. So let me get it in the correct way. Hold on. There we go. So this is the correct way. No, it doesn't like being in the correct way for some reason. But oh well. Never mind. And this that's the inverted fish tail. It should be that way up. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe and comment down below. Bye bye. Don't let the friend.